everyone welcome to another edition of in nature's realm now today i'm off to a lake called wombat reservoir and uh it's a beautiful little lake set right in the middle of uh dalesford and that uh, stock with trout and it's just uh another one of these little little reservoirs that are just fantastic to fish now we're going to meet ian scott today at the lake and we're going to give it a go so uh Keep uh, watching and um, yeah, we'll see you real soon. Reservoir. I'm all geared up and uh, walking along the damn wall. Now, Ian's normally saying trout rise as, uh, well, not that long ago, just yesterday. And um, we haven't seen any trout rise. But could be a little bit, he's a bit earlier than what we normally come out. So um, anything can happen. Now I've got a uh, grasshopper fly, I don't know if the camera can see the grasshopper fly on because there's quite a few grasshoppers about. It's a windy day. Um, a good searching fly. So, um, give that a go first off. Hold up, man. Now, Ian, I've just explained to the viewers that um, we're going to search with grasshoppers, but the normal flies you would try would be uh, beetle patterns, wouldn't it? There, yep. um, took a grasshopper off the surface. Wow. Um, that was a few years ago, and I haven't. Uh, I've seen some larger ones feed, mm. but in the middle of the lake, and they're hard to get because you can't wait this lake. Yeah. Um, although we did have seen one guy in a kayak already. Yeah, which is uh, not supposed to. Yeah. Drinking water. Yeah. Um, so you. The viewers need to keep in mind that uh, when you come to Wombat Reserve, that it's uh, no waiting. Yeah, and we haven't even got our waders on. No, so, so it's a waste uh, of time and you're more comfortable too. More comfortable yeah. and... Um, and just keep your eyes open for snakes. Yeah. Especially along the wall here, there's a lot of copperheads and stuff. But, but you know, um, I, yeah. they're there, I know they're there, but I've only seen probably four in the last ten years. Yeah. But they're here. Oh, they're yeah. Here. yeah. If people yeah. realise snakes aren't there just to get careful. you, you know what I mean? Just be careful with you. Just yeah, just as long as you don't around. step on them, uh, you're right, you know, it's not a floor. problem. You know, yeah. can't just look for fish, look for everything else. Well, here's the bottom of the dam, look at that. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, the little, pretty steep, little, huh? little road down there, the bridge comes into here. Yeah, and where do people drive their car and park? And well, you can't. Well, didn't you say they were parked over there or something? Oh, yeah, there's, there's a back road. Back road over there, yeah. is it? There's oh. a camper over there now, I'm not allowed to camp here either. Oh, right. I was here on Monday, the long weekend. Yeah. And there was probably 15 people camping camping along that side. Okay. Fires going everywhere. I'm not allowed to. People just taking all the signs away. Mm. 
Okay, we'll just think they can do whatever they want now. See, we've got a lull in the wind, yeah. and it's creating beautiful calm conditions here in the northwest corner. So, um, you know, this is where we can expect to see some trout rise a little bit later on, hopefully. Oh, yeah. the day wears on, it will slowly come up. Yeah. Cruising fish in the middle of the day along here because it's never that warm up. Yeah. today. Yeah. Up here. Um, tomorrow's a bit warmer. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be 30 tomorrow. To go? Yeah. Uh, mate, because it's not a big lake, you know, I can, even in my condition, I can manage, if I walk at my pace, I can get around the lake. Yeah. But I get at my pace. Yeah, just nice and slow. I'm in no rush to catch a fish. No, that's it, that's the way you take it easy, that's the way you shoot fish. Nice and slow and, and observe. Observation is the, is the absolute secret to successful don't rush in like a, uh, like a mad bull and um, yeah. and uh, start fishing straight away, sit back, watch everything for a good Have while. A cup of tea and just relax. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you're true, true Aussie, have a beer. <laughs> Are we going to have a fish off the damn wall there for um, a starter? No, not at the moment. No? You don't want to go there? No, I'm going to go into this little bait. Alright. Yeah, you can fish there if you want. Yeah, alright. I'll, I'll give that a go. Yeah, you'll, you'll see, mate. Yeah. Give me a hoy if you get into some fish. By the time you have finished, I'd have just got there. <laughs> no worries, man. All right. Let's go there and uh, have a bit of a search. Now, from here, I've got a good view of the, the lake. I don't know if the camera... There's no glare for me, and I haven't got Polaroids on. But I can see through that water a good distance and uh, if a trout cruises along there I'll definitely see him this is what you've got to do you've got to have a look see what might be happening alright let's get a bit of a fish now there's something on the surface there I don't think they're hoppers but you've got to check these things out I think they're just done uh, Yeah, just thistle seeds. Well, this is my hopper fly. Let's see how we go with this. Alright, now I've just cast out the grass up a fly. Now a lot of beginners would be saying, oh, how long do we leave it out there for? Well, not very long at all. Now if you knew there was a trout in the area, and I can actually see some beetles on the surface there right now. Now if you knew there was a trout around, you'd leave it there for a while. When you don't, Leave it for a while and then pick another spot. Because you basically want to cast out. Put the fly down with a plop. Then recast it. Plop. Recast it. Plop. Simply like that.
be a nice plot. It uh, creates a an action that the trout will identify through their lateral line. They'll feel that plot. Well, they may see it. I'm just concentrating on this area just to the left of me. And then I'm going to work my way up along the shore, create a bigger cast. So what I'll do is... Get a bit closer. Plop. Just there. And then I'll go further up along the shore line. Yeah. Well, there we go. Ben's got one on. Beautiful. Whoa! Oh, he's, going. he's leaping in the air. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Ah! Oh. The rainbow. I wonder if he's got him up, didn't you? Yeah, I got him on film. Be interested and see. Um, no, it might be good. I might have got him as he was flying because he's close enough. How do you know that though? Rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah, this plate gets both. Yeah, right. Yeah. Little green okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't want more chances. <laughs> Was that a, a pupa or dry? Pupa. Okay. Nah, I want to persevere with this. I want to know that they're not going to take it. And yeah, they might start rising now. Because it's calm and off, calm and Let's just watch. Yeah. Yeah. What? Spinners? Spinners? You're joking. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's only one fish in the lake. Jesus. I'm going to come and have a look. Yeah, I'll try and catch one if I can. Oh, I got one. Hey, small. Oh. When you're not looking, you took it. You're not looking for it. If you'd have been looking at it, you probably would have missed it. Oh, no, it wouldn't have touched it. Yeah. No, mate. He got, he's not looking. Okay, so here's the black spinner. Beautiful. All right, so that's a good... Good vision there, back spinner, probably about a size 14. Yeah, and, and, the and, of it. and here's the results. I put a black spinner on. And he's putting up a good fight, this bloke. For his size. Yeah. And he's a rainbow. So you want to keep this? 
Huh? You want to keep it? To spin it? No. no. So. Do you want a fish to take home or? No. Nah. Okay. No, it's too small, dude. Yeah, fair enough. There you go. Just what I check. One all. Yes, there we go. Nice little rainbow. He's actually a nice size. Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, right in the corner. Top of my mouth. Oh, there he goes. And he's released. We can see him go. Look at him. It was actually it was actually um right in the corner of his mouth. So um and there you go folks, he's uh, a bit tattered and torn. Yeah, there you go, you don't look at your fly. And um, they'll automatically uh, come up and take your fly. How's that? So what does that tell you? That tells you. No, you need to put movement in the fly. That needs skill. No, because when I turned around, I've skated the fly. See? So that's what... So, now on my next cast... My next cast... Very well, Bruce. I'm going to... I'm going to start to put a bit of movement. <laughs> yeah, just skate it a little bit. And that happens with caddis. Yes. You'll get caddis I've got quite a few on like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Skate them across the surface. So, uh, bang. there we go. Hold on a second, great. Here we go. I'll get that fly out again. I'll get it dried, put a bit more gink on it. Yeah. That's yeah. right, I've got it. I've got it. Uh, it's easier for me to do, otherwise, you break the tip. Yeah, true. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, one off. One off. Isn't quite nice size fish? Yeah. Oh, like, forward. um. Three four would be a nice meal. Well, next, this time next year. Yeah, well, yeah, if they stop putting them in, yeah, they might grow. Yeah, well, that's true. I'm going to put a bit more gink on it and we'll see if we can no, get a number. Yeah, more gink. Just flatten the spot well. Dry dry. Don't put a gink on it. Don't put a gink on it? No, right. quite, quite well. Yeah, got one. No, got a rainbow. How'd you go? Ah, oh. right. Well, I put a black spinner on, fly, and come up and took it, even, even though I wasn't watching the fly. I had the fly out like this. Ian's showing me a natural. And when, and when I've turned around, I've moved the fly, and then friggin' bang. <laughs> <laughs> so you you don't even have to watch your fly anymore. It's called art. <laughs> no skill involved. <laughs> yeah, no skill involved at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unreal. Now where's that fly? I think can't put gink. Well, where is it? Is it floating? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's that full casting into the calm ship. Yeah. Oh. And you'll see it. Yeah, flick. Well, you, to see it, you need it in that. That shoot, there it is. Yeah. yeah, there we are. That's it, nice one. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 A bit like Judy, she's blind and deaf. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let it sit for a while and then give it a twitch. Okay, just had a uh, tiny trout leap out of the water after those black spinners that we've identified. We've caught one on a black spinner already. Well, no, yeah, one. And um, all there's not many about. It's definitely um, bringing an attraction to the trout. And. Uh, you might, I might need to skate me fly as well. Just slightly move it. Bring a bit of life to it. Oh, he's going to come across that. Yes, yes, come on. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Come on. Oh, no. Fucking rejection. 
total rejection. That's insane. There we go. I've got a trout right out in front of me and he's totally not touching. There's been a Look at that right next to him. Great days fishing on Wombat Reservoir with Ian Scott. Um, both got one trout each. Um, but I had a fantastic day. Not so much, didn't catch a lot of fish. But what I loved about the day was we worked out what the fish were taking. They were uh, rising, we couldn't work it out. Um, Ian had actually caught one on a green uh, caddis pupa. But I think it was more a case of continually casting to this trout and he, and he hooked up. Then uh, Ian discovered black spinners around the edge. I lighted it to me. So I put on a black spinner fly and then I caught uh, one nice rainbow trout there um, on the black spinner fly, even though um, I wasn't looking at the time. But it just goes to show, by adding a little bit of movement into your spinner, which these trout were taking on the wing, um, can be all the difference. You can just give that trout a little bit of uh, a uh, action to the fly, just enough for him to come up and take it. So that was great working that out. It really was. It was just fantastic. And uh, you know, I, I definitely love fishing Wombat Reservoir. Um, I highly recommend it. But remember, it can be hard fishing sometimes. Sometimes it can be easy, but you've just got to work it out 90% of the time. So until next time, this is Bruce Smith saying goodbye, and see you next episode of In Nature's Room. Bye-bye for now.